Alright, so today we are back at the Sorrento and this is a project that is nested in the West Coast landed enclave. 131 units, it's relatively new, just about 5 years old. And uh, we are back with a 3 bedroom duplex penthouse that's 1765 square feet. And properly brothers think that you're going to love this one. Let's go! Alright, so right now we're at the penthouse itself. Before we show you the rest of the interior of this three-bedroom penthouse, let's share a little bit about the brief facts about this project as the Sorrento itself. So in total, there's about 131 units right here. So in terms of facilities, actually you have a lot of things that is very, very appealing to families with kids. So just right downstairs, it is actually flush with a lot of water features. Now here is basically some dipping pool and then on the other side is the main huge lab pool. So you have function room, you have the gym room, but the important thing is that it comes with basement parking and then it hits right straight to your unit down from the basement. Alright, so this project is also made up of mainly one bedder, two bedders and uh, of course the three bedrooms as well. In terms of penthouses, there are only 20 penthouses in the entire project, out of which 14 of them are actually the two beds and the two plus study penthouses, which then leaves three bedroom penthouses to be only having six of them and this is actually one of the six that you can find in the Sorrento. The developer is actually all green. The largest units usually gets the best view like this one. It is a very quiet facing because you're actually facing towards this part of the West Coast Road. Right in front is actually the Waseda Japanese High School. This part of West Coast is actually more like a landed enclave with a lot of small to mid-sized boutique development. So a a project like this one at 131, we would deem it as more of like a boutique mid-size whereby you get a lot of the facilities, it's not too crowded, at the same time it's not too small a project as well. Importantly, you are getting good freehold land right here. So let's talk a little bit about this part. So every lobby here gives you about 4 units just like this one. So you are actually sharing the same lobby as another 3 of the three beta penthouse owners. So what we love is that I think All Green has done a great job in the way that they span out this entire layout because there's almost very, very little wasted space. Right here on the right side, there's a nice size enclosed kitchen. Just to demo to you, there's like a sliding panel door right here. Because of the way that it's been built, you have good vision towards your dining and living space. Now, coming into the kitchen, what you see is that the L-shaped portion has all been flushed with very, very quality finishings. We do see a lot of storage space right here. So, top portion has a lot of space. And because it has been very, very well taken care of, the carpentry is really, really in great shape. And you also have this home shelter right at the kitchen area so it's very good for storage it's quite deep as well it's quite tall in terms of the ceiling height stepping in the living room you'll notice that in terms of the design they have kept it to be more like a wooden vintage kind of modern style you have a very good size living hall right here great view from here because you're all looking towards the landed properties and this is a quiet facing which i think is great in terms of ceiling height the original ceiling height is great which then gives you a lot of allowance for a false ceiling plus a nice ceiling fan which has already been installed for you so dining space good enough for a six seater i would say to be comfortable at the same time you have this nice brick wall that spans along the entire living room so it gives you a lot more space for your bookshelves and your carpentry or your display cabinets and things like that let's have a look at the bedrooms on level one so before you reach your bedrooms you get this very good size standing shower, common bath, nice size ventilation window. It has been very well maintained and coming here, the first common room overlooks towards the same view, the northeastern facing. And check out this superbly tall wardrobe space right here. The storage has already been flushed almost to the top. Nice timber strip flooring as well together with the bay window which has already been flushed with timber strips. So you still have space like for a two-seater study table. At the same time, you can make use of your bay window for extra storage as well. Ceiling height is really great and it gives you such a roomy feel. And then coming to this room, this is like the third bedroom. More towards like a guest room or a kids room, you can fit in a bunk bed as well. If not, you can actually do a customized bed head that is mounted on towards the bay window having the bed facing towards this direction. And that space is definitely enough for a queen bed if you were to do a more customized approach. So coming in back to the living room, 
Another feature is that this penthouse at Sorrento gives you what we call an internal staircase. You do not have the staircase that is on the external part of the balcony. For family with kids, this is something that is a plus because you don't have to worry about your kids going out to the balcony. Starting from level 2 onwards, all the staircases are done with very very solid timber strips. And level 2 is mommy and daddy's room and let's have a look. This is definitely one of the plus points on our checklist because you have an extremely great, incredible size master room and this is really incredible size because you can see like you have this entire strip of walkway that is very usable. You have a nice L-shaped corner 5 panel wardrobe space and at the same time, you have a lot of space along the wall to fill in huge display cabinets and shelves and TV console space and this of course overlooks towards the same facing which is northeast and nice size ensuite very well maintained from day one what level 2 gives you is that right beside your master room and your master ensuite you have this separate door which then links you to your roof terrace for this level itself, in terms of the size, it's 710 square feet and then level 1 is 1055 square feet which then makes up a total of 1765 square feet spread over two levels. The original roof terrace actually comes with a jacuzzi but our owners has actually removed that because they don't really use the jacuzzi so it then gives you a larger roof terrace space which is right here. We love this high window panels which is actually a good safety feature especially if you have young kids. We like the fact that the walls are also high so that you have privacy from the next door neighbour as well and we also like this portion here whereby you can actually fit in your washer come dryer so this can be like your clothes drying area for natural ventilation. Pan houses are great for outdoor alfresco dining. If you entertain a lot, you have friends that comes over over the weekend, your kids can be downstairs in their two bedrooms. Your room is right here. You can chat all night until midnight and it doesn't affect your kids sleeping. So we're actually in a park which is right opposite the West Coast Park overlooking towards the sea as well. And then this portion here is actually like the Clementi Woods Park. So you are actually blended into a landed enclave with a lot of nature. But importantly, you are right beside the National University of Singapore, which means that you're actually at the Ken Ridge area. Plus, you're also at the One North area. So actually, this is an area where you have a lot of linkages to a lot of important places in Singapore. You want to go to Sentosa, Harbourfront, it's easy. A short drive away, you want to head towards Clementi Mall, it's very easy as well. Of course, if you want to head towards One North, Bona Vista and the Star Theatre, it's just right there. Let's head back. Alright, so just to give you a recap again, so right here at Sorrento, we are at number 55 West Coast Road. This is a mid-sized boutique development with only six three-bedroom penthouses and we are in one of them, 1765 square feet. There's three bed, two bath, a home shelter for a storage, freehold status, as well as your own private roof terrace and your master room with ensuite at level two. And you have this very nice view of the entire greenery part of the Cambridge area and as well as you're right here in the West Coast landed enclave giving you flexibility between great localities and amenities all around you plus of course the West Coast Park and the Clementi Park for your kids and uh, my name is Melvin Lim from Lim Brothers give us a call to our listing manager right on the link down below and we'll be very happy to show you the place see you soon Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place.